Hello, son of God, and my brother, this is your awakening, and today's teaching is praying with others. Say my mind, and you don't die. Until the second level at least begins, one cannot say in prayer. For until that point, each one must ask for different things, but once they need to hold the other as an enemy has been questioned, and the reason for doing so has been recognized if only for an instant, it becomes possible to join in prayer. Enemies do not share a goal. It is in their enmity, it is in this their enmity is kept. Their separate wishes are their arsenals, their fortresses in hate. The key to rising further still in prayer lies in this simple thought, this change of mind. We go together, you and I. Now, it is possible to help in prayer and so reach up yourself. This step begins the quicker ascent, but there are still many lessons to learn. The way is open and hope is justified. Yet it is likely at first that what is asked for even by those who join prayer is not the goal that prayer should truly seek. Even together you may ask for things and thus set up but an illusion of a goal you say. You may ask together for specifics and do not realize that you are asking for effects without a cause. And this you cannot have, for no one can receive alone, for no one can receive effects alone, asking a cause from which they do not come to offer them to him. Even the joining then is not enough if those who pray together do not ask before all else that what is the will of God. Even the joining then is not enough if those who pray together do not ask before all else, what is the will of God? From this cause, only can the answer come in which are all specific satisfied, all separate wishes unified in one. Prayer for specifics always asks to have the past repeated in some way. Prayer for specifics always asks to have the past repeated in some way. What was enjoyed before, or seemed to be, what was another's and he seemed to love, all these are but illusions from the past. The aim of prayer is to release the present from its chains of past illusions, to let it be a freely chosen remedy from every choice that stood for a mistake. What prayer can offer now so far exceeds all that you asked before that it is beautiful to be content with less. You have chosen a newborn chance each time you pray. And would you strifle and imprison it in ancient prisons when the chance has come to free yourself from all of them at once? Do not restrict your asking. Prayer can bring the peace of God. What time-bound thing, what time-bound thing can give you more than this in just a little space that lasts until it crumples into dust? I repeat, prayer for specifics always asks to have the past repeated in some way, what was enjoyed before, or seemed to be, what was another's, and he seemed to love. All of these are but illusions from the past.